Oh no! Do you find yourself regularly addicted to drugs? If that's the case, there's a solution for you. So, we've just become addicted to Psycho because we've taken far too much Psycho buff. It's a common problem that happens, and they make a drug for it called Addictal. Now, if you need Addictal, uh, you can buy it from certain vendor bots, but the absolute best way to do it is doing um, an event called Guided Meditation at Palace of the Winding Path. Typically, you get between three and five Addictal uh, every time you complete it. So again, that's Palace of the Winding Path. It comes up because it's a public event. It comes up quite regularly, um, and I'll do it every time. I'll complete the event every time it comes up. Now, if you don't happen to have enough of it, or you can't find the event up, um, if you've progressed far enough in the Gold Boolean quest line, you'll have this place here called Carlton Mine, and we can make uh, we can get something called Radscorp eggs. And we can make Radscorp egg omelet. Now. There's only one guaranteed spawn for Rad Scorps in the world, and that's at Knife's Edge over here. So there are three Rad Scorps there, but trying to get enough eggs to keep enough on you, uh, just from farming those alone, is very tedious. So if you go into this mine here, we can enter solo, and because we enter this solo, we don't have to worry about competing with anybody for farming this. So again, you'll have to unlock uh, gold boolean stuff for you to get far enough into uh, this mine. But it is a great place for glowing fungus and glowing mushrooms. And it's full of cave crickets, which are great for acid. Since one wasteland, their damage has been increased, so just, you know, be cautious. Now, I always go the wrong way down here. One way is a dead end, and the other way will take us to where we need to be. Just loot some junk. Taking a bit more of a direct approach to get there. Oops. Because this is a quest area, there just the overall junk in this location is kind of poor. I mean, there's. There's some items, but overall I wouldn't, uh, you know, specifically loot this for anything. Aside what we're here for. I will take packages of 45 rounds, just because, uh, they're, um, 45 rounds are almost the only ones worth picking up. Because a package of 45 rounds has typically between 16 and 20 rounds in it. And 45 sells quite well because everybody's using them. Fixer, where'd that other cave cricket go? Eh. So acid right now for me has a, a pretty high value, about seven caps a piece. So every one of those cave crickets is uh, worth farming. So we go into this water here. Now there are frogs here as well if you need to collect them for frog in a jar. So you have guaranteed frog spawns here. Um, if you kill frogs and you have the uh, butcher's bounty, you can get quite a lot of frog legs from them. Actually, let me show that now too. And of course I got rid of butcher's bounty because I'm an herbivore. We'll just get it.
Where are we here? Butcher's Bounty. Okay. So, killing frogs. You tend to get quite a lot of frog legs for. So if you're down here, it's uh, good for some cheap meat. But we are here for these rad scorp eggs. Now, I think a lot of people are already coming across the idea that I said I was an herbivore. And why am I collecting rad scorp eggs? Because I shouldn't get any benefit from these. That's correct. You don't get any food, water, or uh, health from consuming these. But the effect of... Um, the effect of uh, the addiction removal remains. So even though you're herbivore, you can still make use of these for curing persons. And even if for some reason um, they did uh, they didn't work, you could always take a Radex, suppress your mutations, uh, and then use it to cure it at that point. Because it'll uh, to suppress your mutations, you can use uh, meat again. More rad scorp eggs. Over here. Yeah. And that's it. We don't need to actually go any further. That's the end of the rad scorps, just that room full of them. Uh, okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to go back and do some crafting. And I'll show you with and without Radex how this works. Oh look, I'm addicted to uh, Psycho again. So what we're going to do is we are going to first put on Super Duper. And just to prove to you that I am an herbivore, we're going to see herbivore here. So you can eat veggies but not meat. Where's our Brad Scorp egg omelet under all foods here? So we got twenty two. So, if we go over here to new, and sort by newest, so we have 27 Rad Scorp egg omelets. Uh, let's deposit our junk quickly.
So we have 28 Rad Scorp Egg Omelets. So again, I'm currently addicted to... What am I addicted to? I'm addicted to Psycho. And if I take one of these... We're going to find my Psycho addiction goes away. Now these omelets... Um, Look, here's a random addiction, and you can make a better food that cures um, all addictions. What else does that take? All food. So there's the... Oh. Where is that? Rad Scorp Egg Omelet. And there's... There was one with salt. Maybe I don't know the recipe for it. I'll put it up on the screen if there is. I thought I uh, had all the recipes for this. Anyways. Um, yeah, so this one cures uh, one random addiction. And there's a more advanced one that you can make that cures all addictions. But this stuff's pretty easy to get. So you can just take as many as you like. So, yeah, that's even with, um, you know, even here it's reporting that um, I get no HP food or food from it. Again, it still cures that addiction. So, if I use Radex to suppress um, my mutations, you'll see that it actually works full and proper. So we have Radex here, so my, you can see my marsupial doesn't work, so my mutations are suppressed. And if we go over here to Radscorp Egg Omelette, you'll see that the food and water part has come back to it. So again, it makes it uh, usable for people. So anyways, that's, um, again, the best way to cure addictions in bulk. And let's just get another addiction again. There we go. So we're once again cured of that addiction. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. If you've liked this video and found it informative, please consider subscribing for more. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next video.